I think about my weight every single day. Like seriously, you guys, I do. I think about it every day and it's so depressing. It runs my life. It ruins my life thinking about my weight all the time. I've always been a petite girl. I'm very short. I'm only 4'11", and, you know, in high school, I couldn't get past 100 pounds. Even in college, I was, well, actually, in college is when I started to gain weight. Um, well, a little bit before college, it was right before I went to college, I had a boyfriend, and we were, like, hanging out, eating all the time, all the wrong foods, and I started to gain weight. I started to be comfortable i guess in my relationship and i didn't focus on myself enough i just was focusing on the union not that we were married we we're just boyfriend and girlfriend but i was just focused on that relationship and spending time with that person and what we did was eat and lay around hugged up all of that and that's when i started to gain weight so when, when I went to college, of course, people at college didn't know what I looked like prior because I was very, I was smaller, you know, before college. But in college, I had gained some weight. People just, you know, assumed that's what I looked like. And then it got so out of control. Even then, I probably wasn't that big. I don't even remember how much I weighed, but to me, it was a lot. Um, so then... I went home after freshman year, went home for the summer, and I got it back together. I lost all my weight, went back to school for my sophomore year, and people were tripping. Like, they, like I was the biggest loser, like on that show, Biggest Loser. But, I mean, that was like my normal weight when I went back, and people were like, oh my god, what did you do? And I'm like, I just stopped eating junk. <laughs> So yeah, I was smaller then. Then after college, I went to the military. And let me tell you, the military is when I really lost even more weight because of course, you're constantly training. Like during basic training, we used to run miles and miles a day. We did circuit training over and over a day. We ate the right foods. We were, you know, sleeping the right amount of time. Like everything was perfect. And I got really fit like oh my god I used to do so many push-ups pull-ups I could run forever my arms were like rubber when I was doing push-ups so that's one thing I did love about the military about the only thing <laughs> um so then after the military um I came back home and still kept the weight off I I've been good for a minute when I had my girls Taylor and Skye, when I was pregnant, the heaviest I was was 173 pounds. And that's like seriously full-term pregnancy, 173 pounds. That number depresses me. Right now, well, at my heaviest while not being pregnant, after having children, after becoming a woman, because that's also a factor. I always, I always have been focused on how much I weighed back in the day, but that's when I was a kid. I'm a woman now, and that's one thing that we need to understand. We are women, okay? So our weight is not going to be what we want it to be. Um, so yeah, so not pregnant, my heaviest is 168 pounds, and that was just a week ago. A week ago, I weighed 168 pounds, and I was so depressed, so freaking depressed, because like I said, my heaviest while nine months pregnant was 173. I'm, I was almost back to that, and there's no baby inside of me, so that's freaking crazy to me. Um, so I feel like that's what kicked me into gear to really get healthy. Um, me personally, I have... I'm an artist and I have a true artist spirit. Like seriously, I am very uh, in the zone type of person. I can conquer lots of stuff very quickly, 100% in, and you will come out with a flawless ending to whatever I do. But that's only short term. Like I have to be really motivated to do something and I need to do it right now 
get it over with, move on to the next thing. I lose interest in stuff so fast. So when that interest comes in anything in life, I need to execute it, get it out of my system, and then I move on. So that's why I don't do well with weight loss. Um, so yeah, that's how my mind works. It's And I used to be embarrassed to even admit that. But I'm not embarrassed because even when it comes to like working with brands, I like to just tell them up front how I work, how I get down. I'm a very in the moment person. I want to get it done, get it out of the way, move on to the next thing because that's just my spirit and I, I can't change it. It's just how I am. The only thing that has changed me a little bit in that aspect is being a mother because you can't be a mother and then move on. Like that is like one thing in life where I feel so accomplished that I'm constantly trying to be a better mother and I just love that. So motherhood is very special because that is like the only thing that can take me out of my my comfort zone and my ways. You know what I mean? But I'm getting way off subject. <laughs> um but anyway so so yeah I just think about my weight all the time and seeing that number on the scale and thinking I was basically that weight when I was pregnant was just like a wake-up call like oh my gosh <laughs> um, you know since being a youtuber and traveling to all these different events everywhere that can be very nerve-wracking like seriously because you're always worried about your appearance what you look like and I've noticed that me being uncomfortable with my weight has been showing in my pictures and yes, it's just pictures, but it's more important to me. That's like, it's like a timeline. It's like something I can go down memory lane and look at those pictures. It's also, also kind of like a resume of what I've, what I've been doing. So, you know, looking back at pictures, I'm just like, oh my God. Or having to be on a panel and just have that uncomfortable feeling is not okay. Like, I don't want to have to worry about that. I want to be comfortable in my own skin. I want you guys to see the confidence. I want to see the confidence in my pictures and just be comfortable in person. You know what I mean? I mean, I love me. I think I'm beautiful. I know that I'm smart and I, you know, I just love being me. But the one thing that that bothers me the most is my weight. Just being uncomfortable at events and also thinking about being almost to my pregnancy weight with no baby inside of me is just it was enough for me to finally make a change so i say all that to tell you guys that i have lost six pounds in a week yes six pounds in a week and how this all got started is i was in new orleans and devin was back home with the girls and he watched this um documentary called um what was it called fat sick and nearly dead i think fat sick and nearly dead it's a horrible title <laughs> but i heard it's a good documentary i have not watched it yet but it's basically about a guy who does a juice cleanse for 60 days and i think he originally was like 300 almost 400 pounds and after doing this juice cleanse for 60 days he lost like over 200 pounds it was crazy and he also was very sick prior but once he started doing the juicing he got off all of his medicines and he no longer has to take any of those medicines this juice cleanse you can add all kinds of different fruits and veggies and herbs and spices into this drink and it will make you a healthier person like seriously it'll make you more healthy and it'll get you down to a healthy weight so Devin con convinced me to try this out and I am so pumped about it like so pumped and I've been posting about it on Instagram and at first I wasn't going to do a video because Again, back to my artistic, creative personality, I suck at sticking to things. I just want fast results. I want to do it, get it over with, and I'm done. But I can't do that with this. And, you know, I've been here before. I've been excited to try different things, like start a new healthy lifestyle, and then I lose interest and I go right back to my old ways. 
So I'm trying not to do that. And again, that's why I didn't want to do this video because if I fall off, I'm going to feel so guilty that I even put this video out. But I just decided to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this initial video and then I'm not going to do any updates until I'm done the 30 days. And then at that point, I probably will be able to give you more, you know, more um, details because I'm learning as I go. So I'm not going to come on here acting like I know everything under the sun about juicing because I don't. I'm still learning as I go. So I'm just going to start you off with the beginning process of this juice cleanse. And again, I've lost six pounds already. I feel amazing. I, and I actually feel crazy a little bit because in my mind, when I look in the mirror, I'm skinny, honey. Like, seriously. So it's crazy. I lost six pounds and I think I lost 30. That's how I feel. That's how great I feel. Seriously. And that's a good feeling. So here is my Breville juicer. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's an on and an off switch. There's a pitcher. There's the waste basket and also the little spout where you put all your fruits and vegetables. Here's my refrigerator. As you can see, it's very colorful with fruits and vegetables, lots of water, and here are a few of my favorite ingredients to put in my juices. But next we're going to do an actual recipe, so stick around.